It's been 10 months since our part two instalment on the White Rhino upgrade journey, where we plan to switch to E85 and introduce new supercharger technology. However, plans changed. While E85 has been tested, limitations on the fuel system couldn't support the full flow demand E85 requires. So being frustrated at not running a 10 with the current engine specs on 98 pump fuel, we turned our attention to tuning the chassis to find more speed. In part one, we upgraded the diff to our torque biasing TrueTrack LSD with HSV manual 3.7 diff gears to drive the car off the line harder in naturally aspirated form. The compromise with this shorter ratio is the gear change timing being shorter and testing found that the 6L80 was shifting into fifth gear just prior to the finish line, compromising the ET and mile an hour. The decision was made to change to a taller 3.27 ratio using genuine Holden crown wheel and pinion with the existing TrueTrack diff centre. Suspension is a massive influencer of car speed no matter what the motorsport discipline. Previously running KW coilovers, designed primarily for street and circuit, the weight transfer of the white rhino was compromised at the drag strip, so the decision was made to install Shockworks coilovers with the valving range able to soften the rear further and adjustment to ride height in the front to better suit the quarter mile. Finally, engine and trans calibration development has continued over the last nine months with Joel, our calibration engineer, refining both the factory E38 ECU and Harrop upgraded 6L80 trans using HP tuners. Our last session on the dyno delivered 608 horsepower or 450 kilowatts at the hubs and 600 foot-pound or 814 newton metres of torque. Driving the car back to the track for a fast Friday street meet at Calder Park, we managed to run a slightly faster 1102 at 127 mile an hour, with further work to be done on the trans calibration. The following weekend, on a stunning 20 degree Sunday, we drove the White Horse Mustang and White Rhino SS to Heathcote for a test and tune to chase tens. Testing today at Heathcote, we've got the 10 second twins, the TVS Mustang and the white Rhino with the LS3. Both cars driven to the track from Melbourne in full street trim. The Commodore has just run a 1074 at 132 mile an hour. It's running the LS3 FDFI 2300 supercharger, expertly calibrated by Joel at Harrop Performance Centre. The Mustang running the 2300 also. Forge line GA3R in 18 inch. 285 tyres on the rear. It's been an exceptional job by the whole team on both cars. 